Hi and welcome to Bianca's Kitchen. Follow me on my journey through the world of vegan food. Today's video is not a recipe. Instead, I'm sharing some vegan Dollar Tree finds that I really loved. I actually did not plan on making another Dollar Tree video, so didn't prepare anything. But some people who watched the video I made about a year ago messaged me asking if during the past weeks and months I got something vegan from Dollar Tree that was really great and not mentioned the first video. Yes, there definitely was stuff. I can, however, not go at the moment to film there as I'm sick. But of course, I'm willing to share what it was. And I looked up everything on the company's website. They still carry the stuff and you even can order it online. More about that at the end of the video. The first product that I absolutely loved was their vegetable crackers. According to the ingredient list, they are vegan and they have a rich and buttery taste. I took some to the cinema and I also enjoyed some at home with hummus and vegan chipotle bio. Something else that was vegan, very tasty and I totally recommend are the mini pretzels. Super crispy and not too much salt. I really loved that product. The sourdough pretzel nuggets, also vegan, taste almost the same. They are sort of chunky, so I prefer the pretzels to chew on, but if the pretzels should be sought out, next time I go to the dollar store, I would choose these, because they are very delicious too. This is from the aisle with all the nuts, seeds and tray mix stuff. I absolutely love their banana chips. I found them a tiny bit greasy. They seem to use oil to prepare them, which I find unnecessary, as bananas are very energy dense anyway but they still tasted great and we got them for a road trip and definitely would buy them again. Another favorite was their green tea. I usually only drink the one from Yogi Tea, my favorite, but when I was in the car realizing I had run out of it, I was far away from the next Whole Foods, but there was a Dollar Tree, so I thought, why not give it a chance? And here's how it compares to Yogi Tea. The bags are tiny, so for the same amount of tea you get out of a Yogi Tea bag, you need two to three bags. Even with that, the taste will be light, not as intense as yogi tea. For people who don't like the typical intense green tea taste, that might be even better. The Dollar Tree tea bags are not individually packed and they don't have tags, which I actually find good because it's less trash. If I remember right, some reviews complained that there were moths in the package and also that there were damaged bags, which I cannot confirm because it did not happen to me, everything was fine. Yogi tea is organic and has a more intense taste, that's why it will stay my favorite, but if I should be in the situation again, being far away from Whole Foods, I would buy the Dollar Tree green tea again, I recommend it. Finally, I have a warning for you. Don't purchase the Joseph's sugar-free cookies. There are different sorts. I picked the pecan shortbread for another road trip we made. There was only one Dollar Tree in my area that carried them and the taste actually was not that bad. It was like a little weird. The reason for the warning is it contains maltitol. That's how the sweetener is called. When I googled it, I figured that obviously it can lead to massive gas and diarrhea. This here is a quote from an Amazon review for the exact same product, the pecan shortbread cookies. I did not have those strong symptoms, but I did have a little uneasy feeling in the stomach. So I do not even want to take the risk that next time I eat something with multi toe it would get worse and I would have symptoms like the review described. So I decided to stay away from them and if you see them at the dollar store, I recommend do the same. If you see any of the recommended products at your local Dollar Tree, definitely give them a try. Of course, I can't promise that every product is available at every Dollar Tree because I often see stuff in other people's videos that I really would like to buy, but their products never turn up at my local Dollar Tree, so there seem to be regional differences. All products recommended in this video are available online so they can be mail ordered from Dollar Tree's website. I personally haven't done that because it's more like bike buy, you have to buy a certain amount. But maybe it's interesting for somebody who really wants an item, can find it at the Dollar Tree and has a big household where people eat a lot. I just have a very small household. I know somebody who did that. She teamed up with two girlfriends who wanted the same food item that they didn't find at the local Dollar Trees. And they ordered from the website. They had to order 24 packages and it was shipped without any fee because you can choose a pickup facility in your area. She said everything went well and she would recommend it. For more Dollar Tree stuff, watch my first video, which I filmed at the store. You can find it here on my channel. And at some point this year, I want to do another video like that. Also, there's a food hack video here on this channel. I took vegan mayonnaise from the Dollar Tree, added a few ingredients I already had in the house and created the most wonderful imitation of pricey name brand 
vegan chipotle mayo. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for future vegan culinary inspiration. The next recipe video will be online very soon. If you have favorite vegan products from Dollar Tree, please share in the comments. I definitely want to know about them. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.